So a handful of wealthy people Oh. Okay. 
Is that better now? Yeah. So I'm Chris Glover, I'm the MVP for Spadina Port York. Ontario Place is in the riding that I represent. And when I think about Ontario Place, it was designed in the 1960s and 70s to represent Ontario. Because Ontario doesn't have an identity. You know, and we all, pretty much all of us in Ontario, we identify as Canadians. Louder! Louder! By our region, by our province here. Louder! And it was, it was designed, it was designed by it was designed by Eb Seidler and, and uh, Michael Hobbs in order to, and uh, Eric McMillan, in order to celebrate this problem. It had the world's first IMAX theater, which is an Ontario technology. Eb Seidler is an Ontario architect. Michael Hobbs is an Ontario landscape architect. And Eric McMillan designed the children's village, which introduced the world to the ball pit. So if you've ever enjoyed a ball pit or your kids or grandkids have enjoyed a ball pit, that's an Ontario invention. And the law in Vegas law has nothing to do with Ontario and has no place at Ontario Place. This morning, the NDP held a press conference and we called out all of the suspicious questions that we have about the way that this deal was made. There's, the process has been broken. I'll just give you some examples. There was the government, the government in September 2018, or sorry, Therma, in September 2018, hired two conservative lobbyists. Three months later, the government announced that they were going to refurbish or re re uh, renovate Ontario Place. So three months before, why did Therma hire conservative lobbyists before this was even on the table? That's the question. What's the Therma's idea? <laughs> Accepted proposal, they had proposal, and they extended the deadline yeah. for those proposals. It's one of the late proposals. Yeah. What do you think it was? Yeah. You got it. Yeah. The RFP said that the, the bidders, if you're making a bid, you have to deal with the parking that's already there. And then the government now is saying that they're going to have built a $450 million parking grant at taxpayer expense. <laughs> because this government's not being transparent, they're not releasing any documents. Through freedom of information, we received the document that the government actually started planning that parking garage in January 2021. Six years before they announced it to the public. In fact, six months after they started planning the parking garage, they had a document released to the public talking about their plans for Ontario Place and very suspiciously, they did not include that parking rack. Yes. I, just, we just had a debate. This is the part of it. It's where people are supposed to come and debate. And we had people in the House listening for the debate on the NDP motion to cancel on the Thurman deal. And the government, halfway, partway through the debate, they voted to adjourn the debate. Yes. to the people of Ontario. It's disrespectful to the people who came to listen to the debate, and it just shows how little regard this government has for transparency and for our democracy. So we are going to continue to fight for Ontario Place. We're going to continue to fight for transparency, and we're going to continue to fight to get this Conservative government out of this legislature. Thank you, uh, Chris Glover, and thank you for giving your best shot to get that lease ended today. Thank you very much. We're all very grateful for that attempt. Let's make it, let's make sure Queen Park understands loud and clear that we want them to end the lease, 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 end the lease. And the least, 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 and the least. Let's try another chance. A place to stand.
stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. A place to stand, a place to grow. Dog Fort Spa has got to go. Give us a place to stand and a place to grow and call this land Ontario. Part of this project is the planned demolition and diminishing of the Science Center. We have a site that's going to go from 600,000 square feet to 200,000. And forget the rainforest, forget the kids section, forget the planetarium, it's not coming. Shame! We have an amazing group. Does, can everybody hear this a little better now? Or is that better? Oh! Okay. Hey! Okay. Oh, just back up a little. <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah. Somebody take that, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so what I was leading into there is we have some representatives from an amazing grassroots group like Ontario Place for All called Save Our Science Center. And they have been fighting like heck to keep the Science Center where it is, where everyone loves it, where it was designed by Moriyama. And I'd like to call Floyd Weskin up to speak now. Thanks, Floyd. Thanks, Norm, and thanks to everybody that's come out. Um, the Science Center kind of gets short shrift in, the, uh, in the, the whole Ontario Place development, but uh, without this $600 million, $500 million parking garage, there's no reason to move the Science Center. 54 years overlooking the beautiful Dog Valley. And, uh, uh, so we'll get to it. Doug Ford has presented a misguided plan to move the Ontario Science Center to Ontario Place. This benefits no one, certainly not the residents of Flemington Park or Thorncliff Park, not the neighboring communities of Don Mills or Leeside or any residents of Ontario, not the 400 employees in the Ontario Science Center, many of which will lose their jobs. This is also a uh, uh, you know, lock, loss of jobs when we're looking to create jobs. Uh, not the beautiful, functional, and renowned heritage structure not the glorious Don Valley Ravine Parklands, and no one except Doug Ford's third friends. Stop the corruption. Stop the corruption. 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 Greed. 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 When uh, Premier John Robarts chose to build a new museum as a centennial gift to the people of Ontario, in the geographic center of, of, of then Toronto and outside downtown, it was a visionary choice. Today, the OSC is at the core of a diverse and rapidly growing neighborhood that will soon be served by a transit hub uh, for the Eglinton LRT with a stop already named Science Center. This is, this is Met Metrolinx through Duck Fort, named the Science Center stop. So, uh, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. It leads a uh, the Science Center leads a cultural precinct that includes uh, the Aga Khan Museum as well as the Japanese Cultural Center outside of downtown. Selecting, so uh, you know, um, Chris mentioned uh, Ebb Zeidler. There's, a, there's another well-known uh, Ontario architect and selecting architect Ray Moriyama to create an iconic building was also a visionary choice. Um, in partnership with his chief designer, uh, Tezo Miyake, Mr. Moriyama transcended old models of traditional museums filled with static artifacts to create one of the world's first interactive science centers. This is an important spot that people forget. I just want to show of hands, who has been to the Science Center? 
We love you too. Now today, the Science Center has welcomed more than 52 million people. 52 million. And, sparked, and this is even better, and science has sparked the imaginations of more than 9 million students. Uh, uh, most people don't know, but created well-renowned exhibits, experience, and traveling shows. The Science Center actually designs and, and sells to other science centers around the world. Uh, it's consistently one of the top science museums in the world. It's inspired the creation of most of the science centers, world science centers that are based on interactive experiences for learning, not don't touch exhibits. It's a facility staffed by well-paying jobs with a workforce of science educators and skilled, and skilled craftspeople. We can't forget that these, there are jobs at stake as well. Uh, the Science Center has won international awards and museum clients around the world. And back to that science learning has inspired an early mindset in so many children to enter the science world as adults. Stop the steal. in addition to forming a unique bond with the communities of Flemington Park and Thorncliffe Park, uh, represented here by Stephanie Bowman. And this was brought into focus for, uh, for our team by a local resident community advocate, uh, Dr. Shackle Sharapova, who reminded us this is where new Canadians go to first learn about Canada. It's walking distance. You now, you want to walk from uh, Flemington Park? Uh, or Thorncliffe Park to, uh, to Ontario Place to have uh, a science center that's uh, half the size, half the, inter half the interactive uh, 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 exhibits. Anybody? Half the staff? Half the fun? Well, that's another question. Who had a good time at, at, at Ontario Science Center? That person in the back, what's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah, get, go. Hey. No, just kidding. There's nobody there. Nobody there. Uh, back to, to today. The initially announced plan to demolish the current building and build housing was quickly modified following public pushback with the realization that the land, except for the current parking lots on the table end, is owned and protected by the Toronto Region and Conservation Authority and can't be built on. <laughs> now, you gotta think that, okay, let's move the science, okay, we got, we got this parking garage, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's move the science center. Wow, now we can build houses down the, oh shoot. Anybody have that uh, napkin that the, the notes were uh, written on? Anybody? No? Okay. Uh, demolition of the, uh, and this is important to, uh, to uh, environmental conservationists like myself. Demolition of a structure the size of the OST I always say it would be environmentally unsound without, with an enormous carbon re release and have a devastating effect on its ravine location, urban forest, wetland, and a numeral number of uh, wildlife species, as well as the adjacent parkland, because it sits just above uh, ETC Park along the West Lawn. Save our science center. Save our science center. Save our science center. Now we now we get to where it, it, uh, what goes on in the building behind us. All this leads to us to believe a government decision led by the premier and infrastructure minister King of Surma that the science center be relocated to Ontario Place. Yes. <laughs> Lock them up. <laughs> the Science Center relocated to Ontario Place is nothing but a smokescreen and a cover-up to justify the $450 million parking garage gift to Therm Mega Spa Carbon Bomb. Possibly the outlay of $650 million to a billion dollars of taxpayer money for the parking garage with a half-size Science Center light makes financial sense. 
possibly? No. no. Anyway? No. No. So, uh, Mr. Ford holds his government as being the most fiscally responsible government in decades. Liar! My wife told me to put a laugh in that one, didn't she? If so, show us how the unjustified expense of relocating the Ontario Science Centre makes sense when there are emergency rooms closing, cuts to education and health care, as well as a deepening climate crisis. Any of those issues would be a better allocation of our taxpayer dollars. To the progressive uh, conservative MPs in the building behind me, Please stop fo blindly following Doug Fellhart down to talk to oblivion in the next election and show some integrity and support to the people that elected you. <laughs> to the Ontario NDP and leader Merrick Stiles, please show the same passion and attention to the Ontario Science Centre as you are showing to Ontario, please. <laughs> Ontario Liberal Party and its three leadership contenders. Your party can stand up and own this issue led by MPP Adil Shamji, who is the local MPP, as well as Stephanie Bowman, and I don't see Mary Margaret McCann, who is always on, on board. Leadership contender. Uh, to, to Mayor Chow and Toronto City Council, once again, show your united support in protecting another one of Toronto's iconic destinations from destruction by the Ford government. And to all Ontarians, please support our efforts to have the Ontario Science Centre re remain in its present location in the Flemington community by going to our website, offering your comments, volunteering your skills, and signing the letter at SaveScienceCenter.com. Please stop the steal. 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 Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock save our science center we're going to save them for us our kids our kids kids this is a fight that is going to resonate for the next 100 years and it is worth winning we can win this i want to thank uh, swim op for supplying the microphone today these are amazing swimmers at ontario place they swim at michael huff beach which is on west island Swimming on a natural pebble beach designed by an amazing landscape architect, Michael Huff. Now that is what I call wellness. The next, the beach that the Mega Spa folks are planning is right next to a combined sewage outlet. So you will have an ensewaged beach at Ontario Place. And the Mega Spa people say, oh well, I guess it's Toronto's problem. And to fix that, and to fix everything else at Ontario Place to prepare for this ginormous glass mega spa nobody wants, we are, we are quickly tacking up to a billion dollars. Do we want a billion dollars of our taxpayer money to go towards facilitating a glass giant mega spa? Okay, so if you don't want it, then the people in there need to hear you, so let's go with some chants. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho! Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, oh, oh. ho. Thermay Spa has got to go. 
space? Our streets! Whose public space? Our public space! Whose science center? Our science center! When 1,600 trees are under attack, what do we do? Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! When, <laughs> when our public space is under attack, what do we do? Stand up! Stand up! Sculptured Ontario Place of the Time Capsule. And they, you know, um, you, shame, 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 the Temple Bell was at Ontario Place for 46 years. The Therme Mega Spa is 95 years. Talk about, you know, it's something that should have lasted a very long time in a beautiful location. And it's an absolute shame it got moved. And thank you for fighting to save the Science Center, which is such a key part of Moriyama's legacy. Um, we are all standing here with you. Zeidler's legacy is worth fighting for, Raymond Moriyama's legacy is worth fighting for, Michael Huff's legacy is worth fighting for. Yes, so, um, yeah, I guess we can go back to Save Our Science Center, 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 Save our science center! Save our science center! Thank 
Swim on Ontario Place. We, we swim almost every day year round at Ontario Place. This, yesterday we had a swim that was seven and a half degrees. The water's still quite not too cold yet. And uh, we got some great underwater pictures if you check swimop.com. Swim up is easy to remember. It's just like as in grow up or photo op. Uh, the OP stands for Ontario Place. Six letters, all one word S W I M O P. Swimop.com. And what we want to do is, is raise awareness that Toronto has only one accessible beach. Uh, so, so I have a disability, I have a back injury, and I, I'm having trouble driving or riding a bicycle, so I use a stand-up conveyance to get down to the beach. And uh, because it's pebbles, I can get right down to the water, so it's accessible. It's really Toronto's only accessible beach, and if we lose that beach, a lot of us really need that beach for physical, affective, and mental health. So we really want to save that beach. <laughs> It's also Toronto's cleanest beach. It's, it's crystal clear water. Take a look at the underwater pictures from yesterday. Absolutely crystal clear water. You know, you sit, you're right on the... Clair comme le cristal. Oui. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really the, the, the finest place in Toronto. When you're looking at that beach, you feel like you're in Lake Tomogamy or way up north somewhere because you're facing out, right out into the open water facing south and it's beautiful. Michael Hoff designed that beach more than 52 years ago with pebbles rather than sand. And the pebbles are still there with zero maintenance. They're perfectly uh, aligned. The pebbles are just there perfectly and no no maintenance, nothing. So it's, it's a beautiful place and it's kind of magical in a way and it, it's necessary for our mental and physical health. I was saying if they take that beach away, those of us who can't get across sand with a mobility aid or something like that, are probably going to have to use the city hall fountain. So we're thinking of all paddling, <laughs> paddle boarding, and using our exercise ball in the city hall fountain because that might be the only remaining accessible water source in the city. So hopefully, they they don't take away that beach. And we we sort of come up with a little song, you know, that that, that kind of reminds us, and it's kind of like like the drunken Doug Ford, um, and and the idea. Uh, of drunken drugs and drunkenness, whatever. And it's it's a, an old uh, aquatic song, an old water song. It's something like, 
What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford early in the morning? Launch a criminal investigation. Launch a criminal investigation. Launch a criminal investigation early in the morning. What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford early in the morning? Make him give back their green belt money. Make him give back their green belt money. Make him give back their green belt money. Early in the morning. What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? What shall we do with Premier Doug Ford? Early in the morning. Separate him from King Gasserma. Separate him from King Gasserma. Separate him from King Gasserma. Early in the morning. That was amazing, Steve. Thank you. What do we say? Why don't we all start to take a little march towards the road with our signs and make sure that everybody driving by knows that they need to stand up and help us save Ontario Place, save the Science Centre, save this awesome beach. Let's let everybody drive and know about it. All right, just going to grab my megaphone and I'll sort of lead a chant down that way.